Once upon a time, in a small village, a young wife went with her mother to the river to ask for the blessing of her child. They offered prayers and flowers. After the right number of months, they had a little girl. They were disappointed because she was not a boy. They were disappointed because she was not a boy. Oh, well, that's nice, Harry. Go on. They had to think about getting a dowry for the baby. Do we have to have them? What? Babies? No, dowries. I mean, really, not in the story. They had to work harder and harder every day to get this dowry. Da, 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 da. They loved the baby, and she was very well looked after. She was indeed a lovely child. And soon she began to help her parents. Every day, she grew bigger and bigger. She also had her river. And like the river, her life flowed on and on until she was a grown-up person. She was not only beautiful on the outside, but on the inside as well. Better be careful, Harriet. She's as good as all that, you won't be able to find a husband for her. Yes, she will. What's he like? Like Emil. What's she like? Melanie. Melanie and Anil. And of course. One day, near an old temple, she saw a young man. He was so beautiful, she thought he was the Lord Krishna come down to earth. Then her father told her she had to marry a man of his choice. That's the ancient custom. She was terribly unhappy because she could not help remembering the young man she had seen at the temple. But an Indian girl never contradicts her father. She made herself ready for the wedding and worked hard to make it really beautiful. The courtyard was painted with rice flour. The house was decorated. The guests came. The bridegroom arrived. Bride's mother welcomed him. She was very unhappy. She was carried around the bridegroom to tie the knot for life. He was hidden by a veil. Then the veil was lifted.
And when she removed the mango leaves covering her eyes, she saw his face. Lo and behold, he was the young man she loved. She was very happy. He was transformed into the Lord Krishna. She was transformed into the Lady Radha. The real Radha, who lived thousands and thousands of years ago, was also a country girl. The love of the God made her a goddess. She danced to express her love for him. beautiful as a monsoon cloud. Your eyes are like the lotus in bloom, O oh Krishna. I want to be always in your presence, O oh Krishna. bride again. The Lord Krishna again became the bridegroom. And the young wife went with her mother to the river to ask for the blessing of a child. 